Hey guys, I'm back, and this is a step-by-step -step drawing of a white-tailed deer. Now, it's not going to be as in-depth as some of my other drawings, but if you want to know how to draw a certain part, like the hair, I have tutorials up, and other people on YouTube have tutorials up. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Now, I start off right here with a odd-shaped square circle for the head and right here I'm adding in the two ears now this is gonna end up looking like a buffalo but just just give it some time and I promise it'll end up looking like a deer now I'll study each one of these pictures you can pause the video at any time and study them and draw them because I'm not actually drawing on video these are all just gonna be pretty much a slideshow of what I did in the steps so yeah now right here I just drew in the legs well a rough outline just to give you guys an idea now I normally don't draw my pictures like this but I I try to draw it as block shape and simple as possible like they do in the drawing books so to try to help you guys understand so right here, I just finished up drawing up the legs, and I'm going to start on some of the features inside of the head, like the nose and eyes. Just add a little bit more detail. Make sure you're really paying attention coming up, because it's going to start getting a little bit tricky, drawing in little details. But basically what I'm doing is, I'm just rounding over the edges, making him a little bit more detailed just added a few lines around the nose where the shading will be taking place at and now it's gonna start looking like a deer so I just put in the basis for the antlers and took away all the hard edges this part right here is in the past and I always had trouble with drawing the antlers and making them look proportional and making them actually look like 3D. But you don't have to draw the same antlers as me. You can draw the deer smaller or draw bigger antlers on them. That doesn't matter. You can even draw a picture of a doe and then just put antlers on it because that doesn't matter. It's just the process and the shading that you need to look at the picture for. See this picture is even different than the reference picture I'm looking off of because while the main frame 10 points on them are the same I drew kickers on them as you just seen there. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the other antler as it normally takes me a few trial and error tries before we get to the shading. Okay, so now I started off with the shading. I normally start off with the eyes and go to the nose. That's just the way I like to do it. You can start however you want. But right here, I uh, draw in the dark spot. It's gonna be one of the darkest spots on the deer. Those are the top three. And some really light shading. This part's gonna be a little bit tricky, but it's still it's still like any other way of drawing hair it's just a lot more fine instead of drawing lines I'm more or less drawing dots and just drawing in the dark spots and then shading it in I don't physically go and put dots in there I just kinda put dark areas and then blend them into the lighter spots I showed you this picture right here because you can see my eraser marks after my first blending coat and then I just shade in the dark areas around it, as you can still see right there. And by that point, I normally start to blend them in and then just draw in a few fine hair details. And that's normally where it starts to look good at. The legs on this picture is where I got the most annoyed at because I have a white background picture, which I don't really recommend. And 
I couldn't draw the fine hairs coming off of his legs, so I thought it looked kind of weird. So I'm going to keep that in mind for my next picture. I'm not doing a white background. It's I don't like it. At least shade in a little bit of charcoal. But there we go. I finished off by drawing in the details on the antlers and doing my final blending and highlights. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a like. And see you next time.